Every personality type possesses some form of intuition. Some are just more potent than others. Not only does the power of intuition range from one type to the next, but there are also various forms of intuition that manifest in various ways. Some people have extroverted intuition, whereas others have introverted intuition, which is considerably stronger and more natural. Knowing the intuitive strengths and limitations of each personality type is crucial to understanding how they will respond and experience things. When it comes to intuition, the introverted intuition of the INFJ is their main function. For them, this is how they both process and navigate the world around them. It is crucial that they trust their intuition and allow themselves to rely on their own inherent abilities. The introverted intuition of the INFJ is exactly that introverted and concentrated inwardly rather than something that others can easily perceive and understand about them. Many individuals mistake this for psychic abilities because all they see are the INFJ predictions coming true. In reality, it's a lot more complicated than that. Today I'm talking about what makes INFJ intuition so powerful. Let's get into it. Welcome to Success for Breakfast where I'm serving up brain food made simple. Hit that subscribe button to get daily videos created to give you the tools to level up your life. INFJs inhabit a realm of peaceful contemplation and fantasy. They have a remarkable ability to see past people, circumstances, and words to uncover hidden meanings, motives, and results. They are less concerned with how something appears on the surface and instead seek to understand what something signifies, its essence or essential truth. INFJs are well known for their keen perceptions of people and situations. Introverted intuition, their major cognitive function, helps them gain these insights. They are also very aware of other people's feelings and moods. Because of this mix of abilities, an INFJ can detect even the tiniest mood shifts and behavioral discrepancies and immediately understand what is troubling a person. They are always on the lookout for hidden meanings, intentions, or feelings in other people's body language, tone of voice, and facial expressions. This can give them the impression of seeing through someone, and it can help them empathize and understand people more fully. People typically have difficulty comprehending the INFJ introverted intuition. Because they don't understand where the information comes from, people often mistake it for a supernatural talent. The INFJ intuition receives and filters information in a much more subconscious manner, ultimately offering future forecasts to the INFJ. Their intuitive abilities can be quite astounding, and they can often precisely predict future situations in ways that even the INFJ finds surprising and confusing. They don't always know where this data comes from, because it's often filtered in a less evident way. Because the INFJ does not always have the processes readily available to them, their own mental predictions can be surprising. This can make them doubt themselves, despite the fact that they would fare far better if they simply trusted themselves and their intuition. When it comes to psychic abilities, the INFJ can't read people's minds or glimpse into their futures. They rely on their superior intuition to sift through a wealth of sensory data and recognize patterns and connections that provide insight into what may occur in the future. They are far better at predicting future outcomes than many other personality types, but this isn't due to any magical abilities. Rather, it's due to the way the INFJ's mind is wired. This is where we start to grasp INFJ introverted intuition in depth. The INFJ's most advanced and used function is introverted intuition. This is what I like to refer to as their superpower capability. Introverted intuition offers people the ability to deduce meanings and connections from events and then put those clues together to form a future-oriented reaction. What is the purpose of this? What exactly does this imply? What does this say about the future? These concerns dominate the INFJ's life. INFJs have a proclivity for looking forward and deciphering what present data might teach them about a future event. Comparing introverted intuition to its cognitive opposite introverted sensing is one of the easiest ways to understand it. While introverted sensing is largely concerned with storing and learning from personal sensations derived from actual facts, introverted intuition is concerned with connecting impressions or patterns derived from present experience and unconscious data to produce a prediction of what is yet to come. This right here is where an INFJ's power comes from. INFJs mix introverted intuition with extroverted sensing. 
Extroverted sensing gathers a huge amount of sensory data from the outside world and stores it in a data network within an INFJ's head. Introverted intuition is used by the INFJ to sift through all of the data, connecting dots, detecting patterns, and interpreting all of the indicators in order to create a projection of what might happen in the future. If you've gotten some value from this video so far, please show your appreciation and hit that like button. That signals YouTube that you think other people could benefit from this video too. The INFJ's extroverted feeling function also aids the INFJ in determining any underlying emotions and feelings that a person may be experiencing in order to project an accurate insight into what they are going through or how they may emotionally react to anything. The INFJ performs much of this intuitive process almost subconsciously. As a result, many of their revelations may appear to come out of nowhere. They may not recognize how they got these insights at the time, but after some thought, they can see how these various indicators led to their breakthrough. The INFJ gathers information from their environment and filters it internally. All of these observations and trends are accumulated over time to form a clear picture of what is likely to happen. When this occurs, the INFJ is aware of it and can visualize it unfolding in their imaginations. People don't always believe the INFJ's ability to analyze information and make decisions in this way. Thus, the INFJ may have doubts about themselves at times. The more they doubt their own understanding and expertise, the more agitated and isolated they become from people around them. Someone with strong, introverted intuition may sense that something isn't quite right with someone they know. They are skilled at deciphering body language and verbal tones to determine if anything seems unusual or reveals any underlying feelings. They gather all of this data and then, almost subconsciously, reflect on it to figure out what it means, linking all of the important aspects that might have gone missed by others. As a result, the INFJ may experience an aha moment when they grasp what's wrong with the person who showed what others may view as a little deviation from their normal behavior. Another feature of introverted intuition is its strong visual component. INFJs have vivid mental imagery and prefer to comprehend information through the use of symbols, archetypes, illustrations, and abstract terminology. When introverted intuition dominant personalities describe anything, they depend heavily on symbols, patterns, and metaphors. This means it can be considerably more difficult for an introverted intuitive dominant INFJ to convey something to a sensor who relies on literal interpretations of what something looked, felt, and sounded like in precise detail. Because INFJs rarely take things at face value, they may appear to be perpetually introspective and analytical. When you speak to an INFJ, they hear what you say, but they don't interpret your words as a complete message. They examine your eyes, body language, and voice tone, connect to your past, and then try to figure out what you're really saying. This might lead to the INFJ overanalyzing things, yet their insights are typically spot on. In order to feel like the best version of themselves, the INFJ must learn to trust themselves and their intuition. It isn't always an easy process for them because they may encounter skepticism from others, which they will often absorb. They want to be able to trust themselves and their knowledge, but it's not always simple because they don't feel like most people. For the INFJ, feeling misunderstood is nothing new. It's something they've dealt with since childhood. However, if the INFJ realizes that it's merely an amazing power and not some type of psychic ability, they can begin to trust it much more. What are your thoughts on an INFJ's powerful intuition? Leave a comment and let me know. You've got this, now go get it done. Grab yourself some more brain food to help you level up your life and click on one of the videos on your screen right now.